hello everyone welcome back into another video today i am going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iphone 5 now of course this is a 32 bit i device and the reason why i'm doing this video today is because cda impact as you know is hasn't been working for quite a while this is because apple has done some changes on the servers for the um Apple developer account so if you have a paid Apple developer account then you would still be able to use CDM Pactor however for those of you which of course in the majority have the free um, Apple developer account then you wouldn't be able to use CDM Pactor you would get an error um, about Xcode now I'll have that on screen a screenshot of that on screen um, of course you can also jailbreak um, iPhone 6 as well but um, iPhone 6 or any device with I iOS 11 and so on but I will show you the other devices listed on there but um, you know on cover you can just simply use uh, Tweetbox or any other um, third party app store to get them installed on your iPhone 6 now I have my iPhone 6 here um, so let's get right into this um, I'm doing this specifically with the iPhone 5 because I know for each Felix you there is not really any trust um, trusted app store that i've used to actually get it so i found this uh, application thanks to my friend and i must say thanks very much um which is called 3 tools so you download this app here and um you're going to um of course connect your device so once you download it just open it up and connect your device and of course be sure to hit trust on your screen now I have already done so, so you, it might not come up for me. Um, so now what we are going to do is um, head over to Flash and JB, Flash and Jailbreak. And um, you're going to head over to Jailbreak. So you can see this is my previous logs here. And on the other side, you can see the different iOS versions. So there's iOS uh, um, 4 all the way up to iOS 12.4. So if you have still on iOS 12.4, you can still jailbreak, but I'm figuring that the uh, majority of you um, jailbreak iOS 12 via an app store. So that's fine. But um, we're going to select, in our case on the iPhone 5, we're going to select iOS 10 to 10.3.3. Now I have 10.3.4 and it still worked luckily. So you're going to select this and then you're going to select run jailbreak. So I'm going to connect the device here and you can see also the logs on screen. And you should see um, any minute from now, it's Felix being loaded onto the device. So I'm just waiting for this and you should see it anytime soon. So you can see current status here, jailbreaking. And here um, something opened up. You're now going to tap on this there and then you're going to trust this um, developer and you're going to have to put in your password so okay i have already trusted it and now i'm going back to my home screen and i'm going to open up hfelix all right so now i'm going to tap kickstart now I'm not too sure exactly how you pronounce this word, um, this name, whether it is H Felix or Helix. I'm not sure. Um, it's respringing now. So of course, after your respring, you would be able to, of course, have your jailbreak. Now, of course, all my applications would be restored, as you can see, because. Um, I had already configured everything as you can see so I have my theme back everything has been restored um, I have any and everything working now thankfully um, here's CDR CDR is working all right one more thing I forgot to mention um, you know for those of you also remember in the beginning of the video like I mentioned if you have a paid developer account then of course reprovision and cd extender would work for you so you'd be able to freely resign your certificates but if you have a free um, apple developer account then unfortunately it doesn't work for you like in my case so you see i cannot sign any uh, certificates let me try see if it works i'm not sure but um if it doesn't then of course you will have to um, just go back to your, connect your device back to your pc and then reinstall it Felix Helix, whatever it's called. Um, see, here's the error message up here. So you'll have to manually connect your device to your PC if you want to reinstall this in future. So it's very simple. Just open up free your tools again and you can get that done. So again, I'll end here. 
and of course give all the thanks to my friend for finding this out for me and um, yeah so that's basically it for today's video guys and I really trust that I helped you guys out if you like the video be sure to share it with others and of course subscribe to my channel for more content and I will see you guys in the other video